So the world's coming back. It's coming back to life, as it always does. This is where you catch your, your heritage tram, by the way. So if you're doing illuminations tour, this is the heritage tram stop. Just an hour away past. So the world's coming back to life. There are still workmen that are doing jobs at the Pleasure Beach. They opened for the first season very recently. So they've been, they've done their first, they've done their first weekend in March 2024. And unfortunately the big one and the ice blast weren't open for opening day so I've just seen the big one going round with empty cars so I wouldn't mind guessing that whatever the problem was on the opening weekend has potentially been rectified don't quote me on that I haven't had any I haven't had any firm statements or anything from anybody at the Pleasure Beach I don't know for a fact that it will be running. I've just seen them. I've just seen cars going round and as you can see, it's closed. It's not actually operating as a park today, so they must have been tested out. So the big one and the ice blast weren't open for opening day because of reasons beyond their control. And I'm sure that they'll be open just as fast as they ever possibly can do. And the Pleasure Beach also put out a, an announcement that the Grand Prix ride is remaining closed this year to make way for a new ride. But there's no announcement about what that new ride is going to be. So we will have to wait, all will be revealed. But Visit Blackpool and Blackpool Pleasure Beach are doing a season launch, a joint season launch event which of course I'll be taking you to. It would be very rude of me not to, wouldn't it? That's on the 21st of March. So we might, we might, with the following wind, get an announcement at that, that point. But the thing that caused the most interest was the new logo. The new logo that they've revealed. So it's always been Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Everybody always knows it as, as Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And just before opening weekend, they announced that the new logo was going to be Pleasure Beach Resort. This is an old logo with Mr. Funshine on, which of course is on the gate at the moment over the front entrance. And there's one at the side as well at the car park. The last logo looked like this, so you can see at the bottom it's clearly got Blackpool on it because the Pleasure Beach is at Blackpool. Everybody calls it Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And this is the new logo that they unveiled just before the first weekend when the season opened. And you can see on this that they've got rid of the word Blackpool and now call it Pleasure Beach Resort. <coughs> and that's presumably because they offer accommodation so obviously there's the big blue hotel which is just underneath it's just underneath sort of the, the the crest of the big one down there and the hotel boulevard which is on the on the corner next to it and then there's the accommodation that's come in new along the edge of the boulevard next to the highway. And these, back in the day when I was a kid, used to be, used to be shops. And of course they're a little bit, they're a little bit out on a limb. And you can imagine as a retailer, it would be very difficult to make a living from the amount of people that actually walk on that side of the street. So over the years, they've kind of closed and the retail footprint of the boulevard is contracted until it's ended up being restricted to mostly the other side of of the road and um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach have got a planning application in to convert these empty buildings obviously they're theirs they've got a, an application in to convert these buildings into holiday apartments which would be let 
as part of the new resort image. I was going to go across a bit for jet washing, so you'd, you'd never have heard me if I'd walked in front of the, the guys that are doing that. We'll go this way instead. Mr. Funshine's still on the gate, so he's not been, he's not been bolted out. So presumably with the full range, the full range of attractions and a full range of accommodation, this is, this is a pleasure beach attraction as well, with a full range of attractions, they're rebranding as a resort. It's a shame that they've taken the name Pleasure Beach out though, because um, Black, it's a shame that they've taken the name Blackpool out, because of course, it's as much Blackpool as a stick of rock is. And here's Mr. Funshine, look, smiling, smiling down over everybody. Pleasure Beach Resort. What's on? That's a new, that's a new sign, is it not? There you go. And as I said, there on the Adventure Golf sign is the Pleasure Beach Blackpool logo, and it's on the little hut as well. So, what do you think? Do you think it should stop Pleasure Beach Blackpool, or does Pleasure Beach Resort ring a nice? Ring a nice tone to you, does it sound, does it sound better? Pop a comment underneath, let us know what you think. Let us know what you think and we'll see, we'll see what the announcement is at the season launch in March. It's all looking very, very neat and tidy and ready for, ready for off. Hope you've enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a like put your comments underneath and don't forget to subscribe for your visit file course email newsletter and then you'll get all the latest information straight into your inbox and we'll see you later bye for now